Welcome to the Two Guys in a Cooler channel. It's Eric, and today we're super pumped because this is part two of the Bet It All on Black Garlic review, and it's all about the burger. In part one, we had an opportunity to review three different types of black garlic, and I thought it'd be an awesome idea to make an extreme black garlic burger using those products. So we took one type of garlic, we rough chopped it, added it to our 80-20 ground beef. To that, I added a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper. No salt at this stage. I'm going to add salt right as I'm cooking it. I'm also going to add sriracha powder. And I basically took sriracha, put it in my dehydrator, and then ground it up. And now I've got sriracha powder, which I'm going to make an awesome salami with later. Now, we're going to take that meat, and I'm going to just wrap it in some cellophane so that I can go ahead and form up my patties. For me, this is the easiest, best way to do it, especially while I'm preparing the other ingredients. So I'm going to roll it really tight, and then I'm going to take that roll, stick it in the refrigerator, and it's going to firm up a tiny little bit. We'll get back to that in a minute. Step two is to prepare the next element of this particular dish. And what I did was I took a second variety of black garlic, I dehydrated it, turned it into a powder, as you can see, and we're gonna take that powder and we're gonna go ahead and incorporate it into all the ingredients that we use to make the bun for this recipe. We're using all-purpose flour, some butter, some sugar, we're gonna throw some eggs in there, a little bit of yeast, and then here comes the black garlic. I'm just gonna mix this for a minute to combine, and now I'm gonna change the hooks and knead it until it's nice and springy. Set it to the side till it doubles in size, and I'm gonna separate it into eight or nine little balls, and as I work those little balls, I wanna make sure that my creases are pretty uniform and that they're all at the very bottom. Once I've got that all separated, I'm gonna flatten them on my cookie sheet. And if you're using one of those Silpat mats, there's no reason for you to pre-grease because nothing sticks to those guys. So once I've got my buns formed, I'm gonna just gently cover it so they don't dry out, set it to the side until they double in size, and here's what that's gonna look like. Before I bake it, I'm going to brush it with a little bit of butter, a little bit of egg wash, and then I'm going to sprinkle some black and white sesame seeds on top, bake it for about 45 minutes. This is what they're going to look like when they come out, black garlic buns. Now, for this burger, we're going to put a lot of bacon on it. So we're going to make a bacon weave, and a bacon weave is actually really simple. You can do all kinds of really crazy things with it. And so all I want to do is I'm going to put it on a cookie sheet already weaved up, stick it in the oven. About halfway through, we're gonna take that bacon out of the oven and cut it into quadrants. That was one pound of bacon. And by doing this, the bacon is firmed up just enough to where it holds together. I can cut it into four parts, or you can cut it into smaller parts if you want. And that's what's gonna be on our black garlic burger extreme edition. I'm gonna pop that back in the oven in between two cookie sheets until it crisps up. Finally, before we cook our burger, we're gonna caramelize some red onions, throw a little bit of balsamic vinegar right into there, and all of that's being done with a little bit of butter and a touch of salt. And now it's time to cook the burger. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the fridge. It should be nice and firmed up. I'm gonna form my patties, and I'm gonna cut that into about seven different portions. Now notice the black garlic pieces are prevalent throughout the entire thing, and on a blazing hot cast iron skillet, I'm gonna put my patties on it. Season it with a little bit of salt right there at this moment. And then I'm gonna flip my patties just to ensure that they cook evenly. I'm gonna press it down with a couple cast iron skillets so they don't get that burger beer belly. And with my trusty thermopin, I'm gonna go ahead and take my temps. I'm cooking each one of these at slightly different temperatures because everyone likes theirs different. And if you don't already have one of these thermopins, check out the link in the description box below because they're amazing. I couldn't imagine running my kitchen without one. All right, we're gonna take those off the grill, let them rest for just a few minutes as we prepare our black garlic aioli. This is the third variety of black garlic that we had an opportunity to test out. And truth is, I think I like this one the best. I found it to be sweeter, I found it to be more tender, more moist, and I just love the hearty and meaty quality of solo garlic. And so this of the three was my favorite, and we're gonna use it in this umami packed aioli. Here's how we're gonna make it. In a spice grinder, pop in a couple bulbs, pop in some mayo, a little salt, olive oil, and some lemon juice. And I just wanna pulse this long enough to get the consistency that I'm looking for, but not, to not completely pulverize the black garlic. And that's what I've got, a nice chunky aioli, and it is finally time to make the burger. So here we go, with our black garlic bun, we're gonna go ahead and pop that right in the middle, and it's amazing because they're warm, you could smell it, you could see the black garlic throughout the whole thing. I'm gonna put that umami rich aioli right on top with the sweet caramelized balsamic red onions. There's our 
amazing black garlic burger, our bacon weave, and our lettuce. And there you have it. Bet it all on black garlic review part two, the burger using three different styles of black garlic. And let me tell you, this burger turned out amazing. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I hope you get a chance to make this burger. If you want any information on the products we used in this video, they're in the description. And if you want to see more videos on crazy ways to use black garlic, like black garlic ice cream or black garlic cheddar cheese, let me know. If you're new here, click that subscribe button, that notification bell. We got a ton of videos lined up that I think you're going to like. Really appreciate you sticking around to the very end. We'll see you in the next video.